And Jackie Watson says while it was tough to sell her bakery, she misses her customers the most. It's safe to say that for Jackie Watson, her bakery, Sugar Fairy Sweet Shop in Spencer, was near and dear to her heart. I've got lots of treats for you for Valentine's Day. I've got cherry pound cake, Kit Kat bars, some cookies, <sighs> cheer wine cupcakes. And she says she always made sure that her customers left with a smile and a sweet treat. Cakes, pies, muffins, brownies, cookies, anything. Customers would bring in grandma's secret recipe and I would make it for them. Watson says she opened Sugar Fairy Sweet Shop in December of 2017. But after learning about several serious health issues and with COVID-19 working its way through North Carolina, she closed her shop in early March, which she says had a huge impact on her small business. And when she was able to reopen in May, it just got worse. I was wearing a cloth mask and a clear face shield, and I thought, I'm good. Nobody's going to give me the virus that way. Um, June 19th, I started feeling bad. Watson was diagnosed with COVID-19, and with mounting health issues, she decided it was best to close up shop. So she turned to Facebook, where she was recently able to find a buyer. But she says she misses her customers, who were like friends. This week's been rough. Sitting home Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, now Friday. It's four days with no contact with people. So, yeah, I really miss them all. Every single one of them, even the crazy ones. Watson says giving up her bakery was hard as she deals with three upcoming surgeries. But she says she's got a message for other small business owners as many folks continue to battle through this pandemic. If they love their business and they want to keep their business, I suggest they do whatever side hustle they have to do to pay the bills to keep their home running and their family running and do whatever it takes to keep your business open. And Watson tells me that she is COVID free. Her message to everyone is to take care of one another. Justin Schreier, WXII 12 News.